So today we're going to look at polynomials, finding unknown coefficients. We'll remind you, if a polynomial f of x is divided by x minus h, the remainder is f of h. So we can use this to find the unknown coefficients of a polynomial if we know the value of the remainder, or if it's a factor and the remainder is zero. Okay? Often there'll be two unknown coefficients, and therefore we'll go in twice and end up with two equations to solve, which we we'll solve simultaneously. Example 1. Given that x minus 3 is a factor of this polynomial, find the value of p, where p is in front of x. So a little reminder, if something's a factor, it means we know a root. If x minus 3 is a factor, then x equals 3 is a root, which means f of 3 will equal 0. So if we just substitute 3 into the equation and make it equal to 0, we will then be given an equation that we can solve. So let's try that. f of 3, that's 3 cubed, minus 3 squared, plus p times 3, plus 24, and that equals 0. is 27, minus 9, plus 3p, plus 24, equals 0, 42 plus 3p equals 0, taking the 42 over, 3p is negative 42, and therefore p is negative 42 over 3, 1, and 4, minus 14. And we've done it, we've found out that p is negative 14. Okay, so when f of x equals this polynomial, if it's divided by x minus 2, the remainder is 6. And it also tells us that x minus 1 is a factor. We've defined the values of p and q. Notice there's a p in front of x cubed and a q in front of x squared. So let's break this question down. If we divide by x minus 2, the remainder is 6. So we should know by this point, if we're dividing by x minus 2, that means that if I do f of 2, the answer, the remainder is 6, not 0 in this case. And it also tells us that x minus 1 is a factor. So if I work out f of 1, since it's a factor, the remainder is 0. So I just need to substitute both of those things in. So let's start with f of 2. f of 2 is just p times 2 cubed plus q times 2 squared minus 17 times 2 plus 4 cubed. So 2 cubed is 8, so that gives us 8p. 2 squared is 4, 4 cubed. 17 times 2 is 34, plus another 4 cubed. And we know that since that's f of 2, that equals a remainder of 6. So we set it up to equal 6. Tidying this equation up, collecting like terms, we get 8p plus 8q. Taking the 34 across to the other side, that equals 40. There's equation 1 that we can solve. And now we'll find equation 2. Using f of 1 equals 0, I'll substitute 1 in. So if I substitute 1 in, f of 1 is equal to... Well, we've got p times 1 cubed plus q times 1 squared minus 17 times 1 plus 4 q. And we know that this equals 0 because x plus x minus 1 is a root. So we tidy that up. 1 cubed is 1, so that just gives me p. 1 squared is 1, so that gives me q minus 17 plus 4q equals 0. Collecting like terms, we get p plus 5q equals 17. We've now got two equations with two unknowns that we can solve. 8p plus 8q equals 40. p plus 5q equals 17. We've two equations to solve simultaneously, so I'm just going to time the second one by 8. So that leaves 8p plus 8q equals 40, and 
times in the bottom one by eight, it also gives me eight p dot this time forty q, and that equals one hundred and thirty six. So thirty two q equals ninety six. So q must equal three. Substituting that back in to get a value for p, if we look at equation one, we've got eight p plus 8 times q, which is 3, equals 40. So 8p plus 24 equals 40. So 8p must equal 16. So p is equal to 2. And we've got both of our unknown values. Find the values of a and b if x minus 2 and x plus 4 are factors of this equation. So once again, the connection between factors and roots is very important. If we know a factor, we know a root. The root for the first one is 2, so that means that f of 2 equals 0, no remainder. And we also know the root is, the factor is x plus 4, so the root f of minus 4 must give a remainder of 0 when we substitute it in, because minus 4 is a root. So putting 2 in first, we get 2 to the power of 4 plus a times 2 cubed minus 2 squared plus b times 2 minus a. 2 to the power of 4 is 60. 2 cubed is 8, 8a. 2 squared is 4, minus 4, 2b, minus 8, and that equals 0 because it's a root. 16 take away 4 is 12, 12 take away 8 is 4, so we get 8a plus 2b, 8a plus 2b plus 4 equals 0, or in other words, 8a plus 2b equals minus 4 one equation. Let's find the next equation. So f of minus 4 equal to 0, we get minus 4 to the power of 4, we get plus a times minus 4 cubed, minus minus 4 squared, plus b times minus 4, take away a equals 0, we get 256, minus 64a, minus 16, minus 4b, minus 8, equals 0. Minus 64a, minus 4b, minus 232, equals 0. Or, to put it another way, 64a, plus 4b, equals 232. We've now got two equations, but we can solve simultaneously. Times the top equation by 2. So we get 16a plus 4b equals 98. So now we can just take away the top and the bottom equation. 48a equals 232 minus minus 8, so plus 8. 240, which means 8 equals 5, dividing by 48. Now let's work out our b, so we've got 8a, 8 times 5, plus 2b equals minus 4, 40 plus 2b equals minus 4, so 2b is negative 44, so b must be this has been Claire and Maths and today we've been looking at how to find unknown coefficients in polynomials if we know the roots or if we know if we a remainder when we divide by some linear expression like x minus 2. Hopefully you find that useful and helpful. Take care, stay safe and goodbye.